Hello, and welcome back to the Michigan State Capitol Heritage Hall project. Uh, it's been a little while since we've uh, done a video update, I think since last summer, but uh, a lot has happened, obviously in the world, and of course here at the, the Heritage Hall construction site. So we've uh, basically got most of our perimeter exterior concrete walls done. You kind of see those behind me. We are standing in the actual north entry of Heritage Hall today. And uh, behind me, you can kind of see the north service elevator uh, structure there. Way in the back, you can kind of see the south stairs, which we'll go and take a closer look at here in a second. Uh, but this is where all the student groups and future visitors will come into Heritage Hall. There'll be an orientation rooms over here to my, my right. And uh, just right there is kind of our connector where the, we'll connect to the future uh, annex as well. And over here will be a tour guide's desk. When you walk in, you'll be able to come there and get oriented to the building. And uh, let's proceed down to the south end here and kind of take a closer look to that south stair where we're going to connect to the future capital, uh, West Vestibule. So I'm standing here in the south lobby of Heritage Hall. Um, over to my right, there's the elevator pit, which will bring you down from the West Vestibule addition. And uh, behind me is the south stair, which will connect to the actual addition to, to, Her to sorry, the capital for the West Vestibule, which will congregate, everybody will meet in there and come on down to the south lobby here. And that's where everybody will kind of congregate when they get into the building and just before they head up to the, the capital itself. So uh, we're gonna go over to the actual Heritage Hall room here next and uh, take a look at that. So we're standing here in the actual future Heritage Hall room. Um, this is where they're going to be a, a large open conference space. It'll be a dividable space for all kinds of future events for both the legislature and possible future guests to the building. Um, you kind of see behind us, we actually have some steel erected. It's kind of our phase one of the steel. Um, this area here will actually build, be built up probably another three, four feet before we get the actual slab on grade uh, for a bunch of floor boxes and things like that for all the data and power. But uh, in the coming weeks here, we're actually working towards getting slab on grades done here as long as Mother Nature cooperates with us. And we'll complete these slabs and uh, get this thing back up to grade and work our way out of this place. So we're standing now on the central utility plant and behind me you can see the new geothermal manifold. Uh, we just came from the Heritage Hall room and beneath our feet there was the, the modified geothermal field. Uh, that's all been reconnected um, and it all leads back to this, this geothermal manifold. Uh, here in the next couple weeks, we're actually gonna flush and fill the entire geothermal field uh, with the new glycol uh, to uh, start circulating the new hot and cold water for Heritage Hall and the Capitol building itself. So uh, it's been quite a process, about three years in the making here, and uh, it's all coming together right here in the Century Utility Plant. So behind us here is the new heater chiller. Uh, we're actually getting a new module for the Heritage Hall portion. You, you can kind of see here, uh, we've extended the pad. So this is coming about middle of this week. We'll drop it down through the areaway here and add on to the existing heater chiller, which is the additional uh, required uh, sizing for the Heritage Hall building addition. So uh, it's coming this week. So for Heritage Hall as well, we added some additional pumps for the, both the chilled and uh, heating lines that will feed over to the, the new building. Um, so we added additional pumps here in the central utility plant as part of this bank here. Um, as well as all the new supplemental piping that will feed all the way over to Heritage Hall. So I'm standing now in what used to be the old chiller plant for the Capitol itself. Uh, right here was a, a chiller module. Um, and everybody's seen in the past, you know, couple years, the exterior has a couple of cooling towers here on the south side. That has all now been decommissioned. Uh, we're transitioning over to the actual ch uh, chilled side for the uh, Century Utility Plant. And within this room, is actually the connections to the rest of the Capitol building. So that's all taking place now. Uh, we are prepped for our future flush of the utility plant where we cross connect to the Capitol and that's happening in this room. So we want to take a minute today and kind of give a progress shot of what we're pouring today. And behind me you can kind of see that uh, we're pouring the north retaining wall portion of the Heritage Hall entry. So this is actually going to be just to the west of the new entry doors. Um, it's withhold the earth just to the west side of the building. Uh, we're pouring that today. One of our last exterior wall pours, uh, besides just the kind of the connector piece over the entry itself. So we're going to go ahead and head inside to the West Wing renovation for an update from Mike Cristerna. 
Hi, I'm Mike Basterno, project manager with the Chrisman Company. Right now we're standing in the west wing on the ground floor, and then we are currently completed demolition in this room here. As you can see, we've taken the old uh, crumbling plaster down to the original brick structure. Um, pretty soon here we'll get ready to put the new subfloor in and then start framing the walls. And shortly after that, our mechanical trades will follow through and start roughing in the walls. Here you can see some of the original wood window surrounds that we're currently working on stripping the old paint down and we will restore and the decorative painters will wood grain finish them. Uh, more to come from the west wing and we'll uh, update you guys here in a little while. Thanks for watching.